Hello, I'm Pepita Soler from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, founder of Pepita Secretaries Club and the president of the Global Innovation Academy for Executive Assistance. I'm very happy to be once again with you on the third year consecutive at this extraordinary global event. And I'm going to be focusing today on something that is very, very uh, important for all of us, for me personally, for all my students, that this two years we went deeply working on the personal reinvention roadmap that is unique for every one of us. I'm going to be sharing some ideas, methodologies, schools on the reinvention field, on positive psychology field, invest, uh, appreciative inquiry field that works with a focus of envisioning, connecting ourselves with our purpose, with our values, with our dreams, connecting with the virtues and character strengths that everybody has already authentically and effortless on their unique way of living, thinking, feeling, interacting, communicating. And all this flow of ideas, of messages, will be focusing on reinventing yourself. Reinvention is not a project. Reinvention is a process and everything begins with a personal reinvention. And the roadmaps are unique. We're gonna be sharing many ways to be facilitating this process and the expansion of your perception of yourself and a true connection on what you really want to pursue what you really want to create on top of your vision of the best version of yourself. So our session today will be covering those four important areas. And as I told you, is a journey and I had the honor to be facilitating this journey this two years being partner partnering with my students executive assistants in online workshops mentoring sessions mentoring reinvention sessions appreciative coaching sessions and now we are get we are very happy to be getting together personally with the students that we followed online these two years. And it's so interesting because I think that having this interaction online that you don't have a totally connection but definitely the relations, the communications, the expression of your feelings, your ideas, the collaboration, sharing the personal, your roadmap and everything, it bonds you very much. And when you meet personally, you think that yesterday you saw the person because yes, we have a very strong connection online. You could feel the energy. You could feel uh, what, the, what the person is feeling. 
there is empathy, there is active listening, there is a connection of seeing eye to eye, and you could truly create, cultivate authentic relationships with all your colleagues, and that bonds people, especially if we have values, principles in common. So the first point on this incredible path is focus on one of the most valuable skills of the 21st century, that is curiosity, curiosity. I would say that it's like the root that creates creativity, innovation, bridges between ideas, between people. It is so, so necessary, so critical, so important. It is one of the intelligences that really grew on these two challenging and transformational disruptive years that we lived. And what will be curiosity? It means that the ability and habit to apply a sense of wonder, wow, it's the wow, you know, the appreciation, how you appreciate the new things, you know, the desire, the passion on the learning process. You really get this interest in learning more and more and more. And it's trying new things, asking questions and questions and questions, searching for answers, relish new information, be open to new information, to new knowledge, make connections with the ideas, with people, with experience, and actively experience. Make it right, make it wrong, make mistakes, but experience, experience, and make sense of this new world. We're living in an ever evolving world. So everything is changing, job roles, no? everything, new skills. It requires for you to be constantly being invented, reinvented, and learning new skills. And living this uncertain and complex world, it's not enough to rely only on the skills sets that you already have. You have to be open to learning, to relearn, to unlearn, and to learn again. It's an ongoing cycle. In the 21st century, the propensity to learn more is what really matters when you have this passion, this enthusiasm, this real interest, interest of knowing, of knowing new things, of learning new things, of being open to new experience also. It's thinking out of the box, asking questions, experiment, reinvent, that is what really matters. So curiosity, it has many, many, many skills that are under this umbrella of curiosity. Many attitudes, many way of working, of seeing, of feeling, of making it happen. Sense of wonder, love of learning, imagination. Imagination, dreams, imagination, enthusiasm, creativity, innovation, the open mindless, mindedness, the open heart, you know, perspective and wisdom, knowledge, new knowledge, and perseverance. Perseverance, not quitting and going because it's lifelong learning. It will always be 
the appreciation, embracing diversity, the collaborative attitude, the active listening, the seeking solution, transforming problems to challenges, and challenges generating many ideas to seek solutions, to take new strategies, new way of working, new way of living. The adaptability, flexibility to deal with change in a positive way. That is all on the umbrella of curiosity. Albert Einstein already said, I have no special talent. I am only passionately curious. And Leonardo da Vinci, learning never exhausts my mind. That is passion of learning. There are ways to harness the power of curiosity. Now, learn with passion, focus, and apply your learnings on your projects, your work, your life, and your reinvention process. And it's very important to really, really see how things are happening. We live in a time where it's never been easier to learn. Everywhere you go, there is learning. You have to filtrate. You see what, what is that you really want to focus because you have so much, so much opportunity everywhere. On the internet, on the TED Talks, on the linkedin so much so much that you really it's you have to choose you have to focus you have to have a discipline to take advantage of this universe so rich of expansive learning and you have to be truly open to continuous evolution, improvement. So it is also a personal challenge and desire to be evolving, to be developing, achieving, I would say the flow, optimum performance in all the areas and in all the roles of our life. So creativity, yes, is the power of imagination. It is discovering your own special talents, getting in contact with your virtues, with your character strengths, with your skills, your talents. It is daring to see things in new ways and find different ways to solve problems. See, have an open, positive mindset of growth. See differently. If you try to see differently, you're going to feel differently and the results will be differently. It could be better or not, but differently, sure, they will be. And with the creativity, with your creativity, you can bring something new into the world. You can bring something new into your life, into your profession in the interaction. Flexibility, yes, it is very important because it, it is crucial flexibility to be open to change. Flexibility, adaptability, and, and also it is crucial to embrace diversity. Not always insisting to be your way, but be open or trying and listening other other ideas and then you will have the possibility to see create and implement new ways of getting things done and it is also the possibility to get rid of bad habits what you really have to take out of your backpack of life to learn new ones to open space to put new ideas, new attitudes, new good habits that really will take you every time closer to your authentic being, looking for the best version of yourself. And it keeps you changing for better. And enthusiasm 
is the passion needed for the lifelong learning. It's having the energy of putting up your spirits, being cheerful, having more happy, joyful moments. It's being entirely wholehearted in your actions, in your attitudes, in your connections. It's having a focus on the positive, positivity of life, appreciating and being grateful. Enthusiasm is being inspired and positive. And the perseverance is very crucial to really be committed to your wildly important goals that you decided to make, transform your dreams to projects, overcome obstacles, living the resilience to make you learn on this moments that you need, learn and make you stronger also. Not giving up on the first obstacles because reinvention process is an ongoing process. It's not just a project. Like a strong ship in a storm, you don't become battered or blown off your course. Keep your focus, don't give up. And if you need to change whatever, you're always changing, but make it happen. Just ride the waves. Like if you're surfing on all the waves of changes, of changes, with adaptability, like if it was a dance, a dance, the dance of life, where you're not rigid, stiff, you're open, you could have the whole vision, the holistic vision, and you could have this movement of keeping your focus where you want to go, but with the attitude of the adaptability, flexibility, and perseverance, riding over the waves. One of my masters, Bob Roosevelt, says that a high level of trust encourages imagination. That is very important for us to know because we're working on our personal reinvention process. But be sure that you are also a facilitator on others' personal reinvention process. So when you cultivate create trustful, high trustful relationships, your imagination will flow much wider. A high level of trust encourages imagination, allows people to take risks, and it spurs off the passion that makes difficult problems solvable. Trust takes a lot time, a long time to build, and a short time to break down. We're living a moment in humanity that we have to live the human principles that really creates a better relationship, a better expression, a better contribution of the human beings to help each other. So yes, this is very important in the process of reinvention. Creativity and innovation. Curiosity is the root. Everything begins with the curiosity and then it opens to creativity that it is a flame of life, the vitality that steers desires for progress, changes the current situation with significance, responsibility, wisdom, and impact that you could be connected on yourself, on your personal reinvention process, 
And innovation, on the other hand, is the realization, success, successful implementation of your new ideas, your new attitudes, your new habits, creating value. It is a creative act or solutions that results in a quantifiable gain for yourself. And you will, if you are connected with your purpose, with your values, with your best version, and you express that on all that you are leaving as legacy, you're going to really find very important results to you and you're going to be leaving your unique contribution on the heads, on the minds, and on the hearts of the others. And that is a very important role of executive assistance of human beings in their community, in their work, in their life. Everything begins with yourself. That is why today we're focusing on the personal reinvention process roadmap. It's a unique roadmap for every one of us. We are sharing many ideas to facilitate your process. But everything begins with powerful questions. And the questions in the curiosity umbrella, wow, they are exactly what we have to be always, always, always doing. Powerful questions because they make you reflect, learn, have insights. It brings the focus on, on uh, the attention on what really uh, is important, connected with your purpose, with your values. It takes you to another dimension also. So it opens new horizons, new doors, new knowledge. It generates new ideas also and creates bridges between ideas and people. The act of making powerful questions open doors of knowledge New ideas connect people and influences the flow of the positive results. I really like to put the images of, of the children that they express the curiosity in such a, a wow, you know, wonder, fascinate. They, they are fascinated with the curiosity. And that is something that we have to bring back to our lives, you know, to have it on a very uh, ease way, you know? You don't have to put an effort. You have to authentically, authentically live the curiosity, the passion, the interest on new things, on this new world, on new possibilities, new opportunities and better opportunities to be more fulfilled, you know? Have more significance in your life, more meaning, live a more meaningful lives and connect of living also a more balanced and more joyful life. And this is a personal reinvention process, but everything that you do when you share, when you have good conversations, you connect with your identity, with your dreams, with whom you really are. So powerful conversations now. Appreciate inquiry conversations. They create trustful, positive, open relations, create, connect, and innovate. It's a virtuous cycle. Create, connect, and innovate. And in this cycle, it's very useful to be utilizing the appreciative inquire conversation model that is called the four Ds. The four Ds, discovery, dream, design, and destiny. Discovery, what gives life the best of what is appreciated is the appreciation of life. 
who you are, your best stories, you know, connecting with your virtues, with your character strengths. Who, when you were on the best moment, on the best moments, everybody has peaks and valleys. When you were on a peak, how you felt, what you did, what contribution you left. The dream, envisioning your future, your ideal self, what might be. Design, what should be the ideal? What design, what colors you want to put on your masterpiece? What colors, what paths you want to try? What do you want to put new on your backpack? You need to take out things that are not working to open space for new, new designs. And destiny, make it happen. How make it happen on the new habits, the new attitudes, the way that you are living, working, connecting with yourself and with others. So the Appreciative Inquiry conversation, it is totally focused on the strengths, positive approach of how you could develop, change, transform the evolution. And it's always focused on the best and builds future directions always. And it, it, it is, for me, it's very connected also with positive psychology uh, on the virtues and the strengths characters that when you connect with that wow you really you really are connected on how positive the positive way of you living authentically so this positive approach leads to extraordinary performance by reinforcing relationships culture creating vision direction and promoting learning and innovation and energizing your go action make it happen discovery explore the best of what it is identify strengths best practices sources of excellence vitality and peak performance dream envision a future you really want not what others want not what others expect from you no what you truly really want a future with purpose you know living your purpose a meaningful life your values that will really fully engage you and make you happy design leverage the best of what it is in your vision for the future to design high impact strategies that moves you to creatively and decisively in the right direction that you draw and destiny make it happy and revise it as many times as necessary and make it happen transform the dream to project the project to steps of your path of your journey and make it your destiny Authentic, appreciative, and positive language has power. The type of conversations we have gives shape to our reality. Practice of a positive mindset of growth, the language of connecting hearts and minds, it really gives us envisioning our future it really gives us a very, very strong impulse to make it happen. And everything always is connected with our purpose and our values. The purpose that guides our life decisions, that influence our attitude, shapes our goals, and makes sense of the direction, creates a meaningful life based on the values, our values that support your purpose, what really matters to you. That has to be very clear to you. And in this 
good conversations that you're going to be having with the persons that you pick that really should be with you on your journey. Persons that do this to you, give you, really reinforce, listen your dreams, and be your partners on this process of reinvention. Getting in contact with your virtues and put your character strengths into action, it's a very important, crucial step to become the best version of yourself. And let's see what are the six virtues and 24 character strengths that are, that support turn this virtues more concrete for you to understand. The six virtues in all the studies of positive psychologies are wisdom, courage, humanity, transcendence, justice, and moderation. These are the six virtues. And on each one of the virtues, we have character strengths that express them in their action. With them and knowledge, virtue, we have as character strengths, love of learning, perspective, knowledge, judgment, creativity, curiosity. Humanity, virtue, has as character strengths, love, kindness, social intelligence. Justice, virtue, teamwork, leadership, and fairness. Temperance, virtue, humility, prudence, forgiveness, and self-regulation. And transcendence, virtue, appreciation of beauty, of excellence, spirituality, gratitude, humor, and hope, faith. All of us have all the virtues, the 24 character strengths. Some have more expression, shows us more authentically on our daily attitudes, interactions, relationship, way we live, way we see, way we feel, way we connect to ourselves and to others. So naturally, if you look at them, you naturally would see, oh, I see me more on this character strength. And they are very important in this reinvention process because they are the positive parts of your personality and that make you feel authentic, make you feel as a whole, as a whole being engaged, motivated. It boosts the self-confidence, increases happiness, strengthens relationships, manages problems, and helps you accomplish your widely important goals also. And it builds meaning and purpose in your life. There is, in the VIA Institute, viacharacter.org, you could do your questionnaire to learn your character strengths and your personal traits. I deeply recommend that all of you watching this talk, this will take like 15 minutes and the results, wow, they will widen your auto conscious perception of yourself. It's a very, very important part of really putting this reinvention personal process in movement. Everything starts with yourself. So when you finish this questionnaire, you're going to answer what are your top five character strengths. It's like your signature strength. All of, ha of us have the 24 character strengths, but it's interesting to see the signature strength, because it's always integrated 
in all the moments where you feel the full expression when you are on your best, on your best, when you are connected with low, no stress, you know, when you are really, ah, totally, that's me, that is me, flourish. When you see your flourishment, you say, yes, that is me authentically. So when you do it, please share with us what is your signature strengths. And when you see your signature strengths in action, it's very important when you develop, design a plan of flourishment to connect yourself with a meaningful life and a balanced life on the five human dimensions, also go to the Whole Being Institute and do the exercises of the spire that was created and it works the five most important dimensions perspectives of the human being the spiritual s of spiritual leading a meaningful life and mindfully savoring the present the p physical caring for the body and tapping into the mind body connection I, intellectual, that is totally related to curiosity, curiosity, curiosity. Engaging in deep learning and opening to experience. R, relation, re relational, nurturing a constructive relationship with self and others. And E, emotional, feeding all emotions, reaching towards resilience and positivity. We all live the five dimension, but many times it's not so balanced. So if you could really see how you're living this balance, then you could actively, proactively insert actions, rituals, habits, attitudes that will flourish what needs to be flourished for you to be every time closer to your dream, to your flourish, to be able to flourish every time more. Reinvent yourself. This, the personal reinvention roadmap. So this is our widely important goal. As I said, it is not a project, it is a process, the reinvention roadmap. So, what is a personal reinvention? It is a daily work of creating a better and meaningful life for yourself. It is a process of unleashing your potential and maximizing your unique contribution. It is a transformation and an evolutionary process of actively changing behaviors and ways of living and working. It is having a positive and open mindset of continuous growth. This, this process is very important for me. I am in a very deep reinvention, personal reinvention process. I, I am a facilitator of my students, the secretaries, executive assistants that are living their own reinvention process. So this is an area, field of study that makes total sense especially on this moment the human beings are living. When I see the challenges, when I see the way people see themselves or do not see themselves, when I see the greatness of people, 
And I hear that they're not seeing that on themselves. I say, wow, we have a lot to contribute for this beautiful, talented woman, man, executive assistant to really get in contact with their true self, with all their virtues, their character strengths, the beauty that they have inside, the power that they have for them to connect with their greatness, as Nelson Mandela says. Because when they connect on their with their greatness, the way, the confidence that they feel in themselves, the self-esteem, the way that they get enchanted, fascinated on the way they are, and the curiosity of opening themselves to new possibilities, new knowledge, new experience, this is what we really call the flourishment of the human being. I truly believe on that. And not only believe, I see that and I applaud that and I celebrate that. Life is full of peaks and of valleys. That's why you are on an ongoing personal reinvention process. And each one has a unique roadmap that you are the leader, the painter of your roadmap, the designer of your roadmap, and you are leading that. But you could have partners that will reinforce and will be the ones that say, hey, Pepita, everything you told me, wow, it's so, in, you know, are you making that happen? Are you putting yourself on the top of that as the first one to really ensure your happiness, your well-being, the expression of your creativity, innovation, the way you transform yourself and, and help transform others? Are you aware, aware of that? Are you living that? Those are the persons, the friends, the partners, the family that I want on my side, on my journey. And I want to be on their journey also. Stephen Covey, another master professor that I had the honor of a being with him when he was alive, your power to choose your direction on your life allows you to reinvent yourself, to change your future, and to powerfully influence the rest of creation. Personal reinvention and how to manage your career in times of change. Yes, that is very important for you to be aware of that also because we are living in an extraordinary period of transition, of changes, of transformations. Everything is changing the way we live, the way we work. It's increasing the longevity. So that is also contributing on this change. So things that were common, three-stage model of education, work retirement, now it's obsolete. The new life model will be multi-stage where we must keep adapting and readapting and readapting and readapt to the emerging possibilities. We have to always be on a process of relearning, rediscovering, and re-significating. Fine. And that does not have a age. It is the mental, your mindset, the way you see, the way you feel, the way you're open to change, the way you're open to adapt, the way you are open 
with your curiosity, your passion to always be learning and connecting with the people, with the experience, with putting new elements to cheer up your life, to make it more meaningful. Personal reinvention is a strategic choice to create a renewed approach, mindset, or direction with intent to purposefully impact the future. It can unleash an explosion of ingenuity, a rebirth of joy, and bring back the positivity, the optimism, the faith. And are you ready to reinvent one or more areas of your life? If you are, now may be the perfect time to do it, to make it happen. Do not think it too much. Just start with the powerful questions. If it's a big change, if it's a small change, doesn't matter. It's your personal reinvention. And you have to feel rewarding, especially on this time that everything seems so out of control. You are leading your change. And this means a totally redesigned life, learning new skills, being more flexible, acquiring new knowledge, exploring new ways of thinking, developing new networks of relationship. These are the process of change must be approached as opportunities to redefine ourselves. Have the courage to start this process first connecting with what you already have, your virtues, the character strengths in action. Get in contact. How do you feel when you are your best self, your best version in action? And have an anthropologist look. My Both parents are the first degree was anthropologists and they had many others. They're, they really were lifelong learnings, always, always. And this anthropologist's way of living, way of looking, way of appreciating, I would say this was one of the most important and sacred learnings that they passed me. Experiment, look, appreciate, experiment, experiment, and experiment a lot. The only way to create a better life for yourself is to take action and see what happens. Take action. Not only think, 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 think. No, take action. It could be go well. It could not go so well, but take action. See what happens. Learn with what is happening and design. Try another thing and put it action again. While you're going through this reinvention process, say yes to as many opportunities that intrigue you possible. As you have new experience, you'll gain clarity about who you are and how you want to live. Once you find something that gives you that insight, clicks, wow, that made me ah, joyful, that made me happy, that make, made me connect with the meaning of my life, my legacy, then own it. That is you. It's part of you. You know those things you have been dreaming of doing? Do them. Do them now. And celebrate what you want to see more in your reinvention process. Celebrate more everything that you want to increase, develop, expand on your life, as Tom Peters says. And always make good questions, powerful questions, transformational questions, connection questions. Your mission, what is the reason to be? Why do I exist? Reflection, am I happy? Am I fulfilling my purpose? Vision, what I want to become and achieve, dreams, values, what I believe on, 
what drives my purpose? And let's start our journey of personal reinvention, eliminating what doesn't serve us anymore. Take it out of your backpack of life. Reduce things that you can still keep, but you do not need to do so much. Reduce it. Maintain what really makes you happy, fulfills your meaningful life, your virtues, your character strengths. Maintain. Grow. Develop what you want to expand on yourself. Make it more. Ah, you, you have to connect what you really want to grow in yourself. Transform. Make the necessary changes. Transform what you need to transform. And renovate. Renovate to put new things. Put new things on your life. New attitudes. New mindset. New feelings. New rituals. New habits. That keep you, keeps you more in touch of the movement on the best version of yourself, living a life of purpose, meaningful values, and happiness with the balance of the five dimensions of your life. When you are more whole being, you're going to be extraordinary in every role of your life because you're happy with yourself. Transform your dreams. Envision the future that you choose for you and transform these dreams in reality. Whatever one focuses attention and energy, energy on becomes reality. Beauty is being the best possible version of yourself, inside and out. I'm very happy of sharing this talk with you. As I said, I am living my personal reinvention process. I'm designing my unique roadmap that is being very special, challenging, and important in my life. And I have the honor of facilitating this process on my students, secretaries, executive assistants that I mentor, that I coach. And I only have gratitude for all this incredible schools of positive psychology of the science of happiness, of the Reinvention Society Academy of Nadja, of all the appreciative inquire, good conversations that work on the four Ds of a process of flourishment. Discovery, the best of yourself, dream, envision, the future you chose, design, put the colors on your roadmap and destiny, make it happen. I thank all my masters, I thank all my colleagues, I thank all of you of being with me on this talk that for me it's very important, especially on the times the human, the humanity is living. Thank you so much for your time. You can connect me at LinkedIn, Pepita Solar. I'm going to leave my LinkedIn, my WhatsApp, email, and the site. Thank you so much. And I want to send a very, very special thanks to my friend, 
to my business partner, Lucy Brazer, that is extraordinary, extraordinary human being, leader that inspires us to be every time the best version of ourselves and to contribute to this global community, that of professional, a woman of men that leave their unique contribution on their work, on the community, on planet. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. I'm Pepita Soler from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, of Pepita Secretaries Club and the president of the Global Innovation Academy for Executive Assistance. Bye-bye.